weather source. This is your Norcast weather update. As a medical director, I work closely with all our providers as well as the nursing staff to ensure we provide top-notch quality care for all our residents. Seeing every resident achieving their goal and being satisfied with our care gives me a lot of pride to be part of the team of preferred care at Epsecon. Happy Tuesday, everyone, and happy first day of October. Now, we're still a ways off from it looking very fall and autumnal. Our uh, peak foliage is still a little bit of a way off. We have a little bit of low color for a small portion of North Jersey. Meanwhile, up towards Vermont, New Hampshire, portions of Maine, some spots are already seeing their peak colors start to kind of pop out. But here, we still have little to no color. There might be one or two trees that are starting to change, but we still have a little bit of a ways to go. Overnight tonight, we'll be a little on the cooler side. Temperature back down into the 50s. We haven't been that cool recently just because the humidity has been so high, but we are looking at a change in the overall pattern. We have this cold front trying to work its way towards our area throughout overnight tonight and into tomorrow. It doesn't actually reach us though. During the day tomorrow, that cold front, it's going to start to fall apart, sort of fizzle out. So we won't have that kind of sharp clearing that we typically see with cold fronts because, well, we won't be seeing the cold front itself. We have some brief high pressure try to move into Ohio and West Virginia. That'll kind of help to clear things out before we see anything else move in. But overall, we're going to start to see signs of improvement. Tomorrow, we are seeing lower rain chances. The same can be said for the rest of this week and even into next week. We're still going to stay a little on the muggy side. Those dew points staying elevated. Typically for this time of year, we get a couple of days kind of in the mid to low 50s and the bulk of the days we're seeing those dew points kind of more in the 40s. That's just not where we're at. We have a lot of moisture just parked over the northeast. So you'll still be still feeling a little on the sticky side for the next few days, but overall a lot more comfortable and drier just in comparison to where we've been. For tomorrow, we're back up into the 70s as well. Still some cloud coverage, but also a better chance at some sunshine. And then by Thursday, we're seeing a lot more sunshine on the way. That leads into a beautiful weekend with temperatures climbing back up into the upper 70s. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll check back in with you later on tonight with your bedtime forecast.